Danny Canal is an outspoken critic of the SEC in general. Likes to take his shots at Alabama, and it's it's all formulaic. He does it because he knows he can get a reaction out of you. And I always say this to fans. Don't give the troll what they're looking for when they're a known troll. The only person that should elicit a response out of you is someone you respect. Or someone that you're like, this guy usually this guy or girl usually plays it pretty honest. They're saying something now that doesn't jive with me. Then then you can elicit let them elicit an emotion out of you. But a guy or a girl who is constantly poking, prodding, and is an obvious troll, why do you care what a troll has to say? And I say Danny Cannell's a troll. He may be a super nice guy. He could be. But he's a troll. I, exi- I, I present to you exhibit 472 that Danny Cannell's a troll. I don't like to celebrate anyone's downfall. We've all had moments in life where we're, we've done things that we're not proud of. We've been caught in moments of weakness up to varying degrees. No one's perfect. But Ryan Rosillo from ESPN had an incident this week in Montana where he was arrested. And basically it was a criminal trespassing. He was in a condo he shouldn't have been in. And he got arrested. Okay. This is what Danny Cannell tweeted about it. I've got my guy Rosillo's back all day, every day. We've all been there. Just sucks that his has to be put out there. On the surface, it's a good message. Hey, we've all fallen down. Not all of us who've fallen have had our mugshots plastered across the media. I get that. It's a good message. It's a good reminder to all of us that, hey, don't throw stones. We've all been there. But you're going to have a reasonable, rational take like that When, not even a month ago, you were screaming to everyone that listened that Deshaun Hand was a bad kid because he fell asleep in his car because he was drunk and got a DUI. So which is it, Danny? Is it everyone makes mistakes? We should, uh, you know, that not not everyone's mistakes is plastered across the media. Well, Deshaun Hand's mistake was plastered across the media, right? But you had a different take then. It was that Alabama doesn't punish enough, all that, all that, all that. The details of the arrest meant nothing to you. The details that he wasn't driving, the details that he was parked in a parking lot, asleep in his car. Still a DUI, still not, I'm I'm still not covering for Deshaun Hand. I'm only presenting facts. But during that instance, Danny Cannell, SEC troll, says Nick Saban soft on discipline. That kid needs to be suspended. His former co-worker gets caught with his pants down around his ankles in a condo that's not his, drunk to the point where he was uh, couldn't speak, lying on someone's bed. Grown man versus a college kid. Now, on the one hand, you, you, you said I got my guy's back. The guy that was had his pants down around his ankle in a stranger's condo on their bed, too drunk to talk. You got his back. The college kid that's asleep, did the responsible thing, fell asleep in his car, and got a DUI, you threw him under the bus. You see where I'm going here? See where I'm going here? Not consistent, right? This guy's a troll. Don't care what he has to say. You should not care what he has to say. He is a troll. He's not consistent. Had he come out and said, you know what? Deshaun Hamm made a bad decision. Probably shouldn't have gotten the car to begin with, but he made the once he put himself in that position, he made a responsible choice, didn't drive. Now that I know the details of the arrest, kudos for Deshaun Hamm on making a responsible decision. He didn't say that. What did he say? Alvin is soft on discipline. SEC pl- lets players get away with everything. That's, that was his message. Now, his buddy gets popped for pants around his ankles, drunk, naked, in someone else's condo, and it's a, we've all been there. Sucks it has to be put out there like that. I got his back. Okay, Danny. And on the surface, I agree. You should support your friends. But one's a grown man. 
employed by ESPN. The other's a college kid. Why the inconsistent takes, Danny? Why the inconsistent takes? Can you imagine? Can you imagine if I broke a story right now that an Alabama football player last night had been found in someone else's apartment, pants around his ankles, too drunk to speak, too too drunk to talk and communicate with the cops, and broken into an apartment. Can you imagine the stories that would be out there right now about a college kid, pants around his ankles, broken to someone's apartment, lying down on their bed, too drunk to communicate with cops? Imagine that's an Alabama football player. What would the takes be like today? On the other hand, a grown man makes that mistake, and we've all made mistakes. I'm not here to judge Ryan Rosillo. He had a bad night. He had a bad night. I'm not here to kill the guy. But I'm saying in that scenario, Danny Cannell's killing the college kid. But when it's his buddy who's a grown man, I got your back. We've all been there. It sucks that it's playing out in the media. Yeah, I agree with that. But why the inconsistent takes, Danny? You're going to kill the college kid? Say Nick Saban soft on this one? Say the SEC lets their players get away with everything? While a grown man, you publicly support him? Okay, Danny. You're making this too easy to prove you're a troll now. The message that you had for your friend was a good one. But where is that message when it's a college kid who does something relatively harmless? And I'm not so sure. I don't know the facts of it. The fact that his pants are around around his ankles. Again, Ryan Rosillo had a bad night. I'm not here to judge him. Because I've had my share of bad days and nights. We all have. But a college kid makes a mistake and then makes a responsible choice of not putting others' lives in danger of not putting his own life in danger. You crush him. Your friend who's a grown man makes a horrible decision. You got his back. We've all been there and it sucks. Be consistent, Danny. If you were consistent, you'd be less of a troll. But then if you were less of a troll, would anyone really care what you had to say at all? 